I had some questions from people about, uh, I believe it's 2D, I have it on the screen here. Uh, they ask if there's a time when the rate at which the water is pumped into the tank is the same as the rate at which water is removed, and explain why or why not. Um, the first thing here is recognizing when they ask you if something exists or if something occurs, um, it's probably going to be one of the two existence theorems, either the intermediate value theorem or the mean value theorem. Um, in this particular case, they're just asking if the value of the function occurs. So uh, it's probably intermediate value theorem. Remember, the intermediate value theorem just says if you have a function that goes between two different points, you know, let's say it starts out at one and ends at eight, if that function is continuous, it would have to contain any value between one and eight. And so uh, as a result, um, you know, you know that, you know, that function would contain seven or 6.2 or that sort of thing. Um, anyway, I made a mistake when I was doing this. I thought I could just find a rate at which water left. And I thought I could just, um, you know, if I could find that in the W equation, um, I found W of three, and it was a value that was between the high rate and the low rate. Um, here and I said, oh, okay, you know, I got something that's between 1340 and 700, so that uh, the two rates have to be the same at some point. But what I didn't realize is that wouldn't necessarily make them occurring at the same time. Okay, so here's here's how I would approach this. Um, what I would probably do here is, um, and and this is what they ended up doing in the sheet. They basically, uh, the answer sheet, they basically combine these two things together and they suggest looking at the overall rate, okay? So you've got a rate at which water is coming in and you're taking away the rate at which water is going out, okay? So the rate at which it's coming in, of course, is R, which is in the table. And the rate at which it's leaving is W, which is an equation. You can get both those values. So if you want to know how fast the water's rate is changing overall at the start, uh, you can take R of zero and you can subtract W of zero. And if you look here, uh, R of zero is 1340. Uh, w of zero, if you substitute in that equation up there, is going to be uh, 2000. And so that initial rate is going to be negative. OK, and it's going to be dropping. I think it's negative 660. Um, if you go in and you find the rate at eight and you subtract the rate at which the water is leaving at eight, you end up getting a positive value. OK, uh, zero has to fall somewhere between a negative value and a positive value. Um, and it'd be good if you actually found those values. Um, but anyway, by the intermediate value theorem, since that overall rate function would be continuous, um, that means there had to be some point in time when the rate of change is zero. And that moment in time when the rate of change is zero, water is coming in at the same rate that it's leaving. OK, if you want to look over at the score sheet here, I think I have uh, their explanation here as well. And, and they basically do that. Like I said, my initial instinct is slightly wrong. Um, but anyway, you can see here that they uh, they do kind of go through with that setup here. So um, you can see they're comparing that the initial rate is above zero. Uh, the overall rate at the end is less than zero, and uh, since that overall rate is continuous, um, zero would have to fall somewhere between a negative and a positive. And uh, you can see they kind of write up a sentence there. It's a little bit hard to see off to the side there, but this would be worth two points um, at the end. So hopefully that helps a little bit. A little bit tricky, but these existence theorem questions keep happening again and again and again. And uh, after you've seen two or three of them, you just start to get to the point where when they say, hey, does a value happen? You start thinking, hmm, this might be intermediate value theorem. Or it's also possible that it's mean value theorem. Uh, mean value theorem, of course, has to do with the uh, has to do with the average rate of change equaling the derivative. And so, if they ask you something about a rate of change or a slope existing, it's probably a mean value theorem. But uh, anyway, if they ask if something exists, there's a pretty darn good chance that they're asking either the IVT or the MVP, MVT. So, be thinking about uh, those different options. Hope that helped.